All right, everybody, welcome to another Tacoma Holic video. You guys know I love blah, 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 blah. making these videos for you, but this is one I really wish I did not have to make. Okay, so here's my new headlight. You can see it is nice and fogged up, even got water droplets in there, not just minor condensation. Today, I will be showing you two methods you can use to get all of this water out in a relatively quick way. The first method, and definitely the easiest and the, the least hands-on, if you will, if it is a warm day, uh, all you have to do, really, I'm not going to mess with the uh, projector lens here, but you can remove, I know it's kind of hard to see, you can remove the daytime running light lens here, and if you have time, even the side marker over here, and then you're just going to park so that your headlight is in the direct sunlight and just let it sit there. On a warm day, it won't take long at all for all this water to evaporate out of here. And just to show you, this can work pretty well on cooler days like today. It was probably 40 degrees. Uh, this morning, my whole headlight was fogged up. I mean, literally bottom to top. And you can see just doing this on a cooler day even worked pretty well, which will lead in nicely to the second and a little more involved method to get all this water out of here. Okay, as far as things you will need to get the water out of your headlight, you will probably need some kind of long extension cord. You will need either a hair dryer, or in my case, a manly heat gun, made by Revlon. Next, you will need some kind of uh, oil funnel, and I definitely recommend getting one of the long ones with the long spout here. The long one will work best for this application. And last, you will need some kind of sturdy paper towel like Bounty, because after all, it is the quicker picker-upper. So for the first step, we're going to cheat a little bit and literally try to soak up as much of this water as we can using the paper towel, which is rolled up into like a long cylinder. Uh, what I'm going to do, I'm going to try to keep it so it fans out a little bit, because once I insert it into the hole made by when I re remove my daytime running light, I'll be able to sponge up a lot of this stuff over here uh, just to get this thing started a little faster. Do not use anything like toilet paper, which will, you know, flake off, because you definitely do not want to get any kind of debris in here at all, because unless you remove the whole headlight, it'll probably be near impossible to remove. All you're going to do is literally thread it through the hole back here. Obviously make sure it's clean. And just blot around with as much as you can just to get this thing kick-started. Now, the movement is sort of limited, but you can tell... It's better than nothing, so if you twist the paper towel, it's, you can usually uh, turn, like you can see, and get down into this bottom corner right here. So this is something you don't have to do, but it'll just make it a little easier since you're literally just blotting up some of the water bubbles right there. Okay, you can see I've got my extension cord since the plug's at the front of the garage there, or the back of the garage, depending on how you're looking at it. I've got my manly heat gun plugged in. For the next step, you're going to take your funnel, I feel like I need to say this just in case because I don't want anybody to literally do everything I say and leave out crucial steps. So if you have used this funnel before for an oil change, obviously make sure it is clean because I'm going to be using the hair dryer uh, to blow warm air into the funnel, into the headlight to help dry it out. So if there's any kind of oil or debris in here, you definitely don't want that trapped on the inside of your headlight. Uh, that would be bad news. So make sure this is fully cleaned. I wadded up my paper towel and ran it down there because I don't want to blow extra water in here also. So once you have this fully clean, you're literally just going to insert it so the tip here is going inside the hole uh, created when I remove my daytime running light. After that's inserted, I'm going to go ahead and remove my, I guess it's the side marker light over here on the side. So the warm air will blow in here, cycle out, and then hopefully just come out this side. All right. And as I mentioned before, having the, uh, the long neck on the, the oil funnel, it's resting right on the battery. You don't have to clamp it or anything. And on mine, for the driver's side with the battery right there, the short funnel wouldn't even work. So next, all you're going to do is literally just hold the hair dryer. I'm going to start on low heat. Uh, you don't want to start too hot, even though I don't think uh, it's just a hair dryer. It's not a heat gun, so I don't think it'll get hot enough to cause any damage, uh, but better safe than sorry. So the next step literally involves just running warm air through here until it is completely dry. Obviously, I'm not going to show the whole thing. Okay, so I've had the hair dry on it for a little while. You can see I'm making progress here. I'm getting it down there. Just wanted to give you a quick update. Here is my passenger side headlight, which is not leaking. And you can see there is definitely plenty of the sealer, whether this is silicone or whatever it is. Uh, there's definitely plenty along the top here. Now let me go show you what the leaking headlight looks like. 
So hopefully you can tell there's a huge difference. There is sealer in here, but on the other side it was definitely uh, overlapping in between the pieces when they were squeezed together. And it is a little bit, uh, much less of the sealer was used on this side. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to start just with the top after I get the water out. Put a thick bead of silicone here where this plastic piece meets the inside plastic piece where they sandwich together and cover up this whole top line. Hopefully that will fix this leak. If it doesn't, I will obviously have to get the water out again first and then remove the whole headlight, which it's not super easy, but it's not too involved. So I'm going to start with the hopefully the simplest solution first and let you guys know with an update. All right, well, it looks like Mother Nature, fickle though she may sometimes be, was on my side today, and I was able to get some direct sunlight on my headlight unit here for a couple hours. Uh, so even on a cool day today, I think the, the max was 50. You can see it completely dried out all of the water, which on these headlights in particular is pretty impressive because the side marker part right here and then the part up here for the daytime running lights, you probably can't tell uh, because everything's black, but it is the same way on the uh, stock headlights. It pretty much has a little wall right here. You might be able to see right there where it's literally like maybe three quarters of an inch uh, between the barrier and the plastic on the outside. So it sort of compartmentalizes the sides, making it a little harder to dry out. Uh, but it does look like my headlights completely dried out just using the direct sunlight method, uh, which is certainly easier than standing here with the hair dryer forever. So I'm grateful for that. On the top here, you can see I've got a nice bead of silicone uh, running all the way across the top. Fingers crossed that that is where the leak was coming from. If my headlights still fog up, I guess I'll have to go a little more in-depth, pull the whole headlight assembly out, and just run a nice thick bead of silicone around the whole thing. Hopefully it won't come to that, but if it does, I will deal with it then. Okay, everybody, I hope none of you ever have issues like this with aftermarket headlights, but if you do, hopefully you found some good information you can use to correct the issue. If you did, please consider subscribing comment below let me know what you think about this and if you have this kind of issue hit the bell notification so you're notified every time i upload a video which is twice a week guaranteed and i will see you in the next video have a great weekend